We're indoors with the PA drone to test out its obstacle avoidance. Let's check it out. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Drone Mania. So my friends, we're here downstairs with the P8 drone. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this is the obstacle avoidant test to see how well it does. The reason we are indoors and not outdoors is because all these toy drones that come with this, so to speak, obstacle avoidant works purely on infrared lasers or infrared light, the same as a remote control. And when going outside and testing it out, it will not work as the sun somehow, I don't know the technical reason why, but I'll, I know that the sun somehow blocks out the infrared from working so that's why we are here downstairs now real quick i just want to say i have many other drones that have this obstacle avoidance so i want to try all of them and see which one comes out as being the real best now i did a previous video of the k6 max drone and that was a flop it was terrible so let's hope for the best with the p8 drone and see how well it does. So let's dive right into the test. Okay, we're all set. Here is the P8 drone. P8 drone. Got the controller. Powering on the drone. Powering on the controller. Automatic binding. I love that feature when the new toy grade drones happen. It's one of the best features I've seen come out for these toy grade drones that really do do something okay so let's take it up in the air now there it is up in the air I'll put it on third rate so now it's fast okay no lights blinking meaning okay lights blinking I have no idea why I have no idea what just happened there. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know why the lights are flashing because it's a full charge battery. That's weird. Okay, let's turn on the obstacle avoidance. Hopefully we can still turn it on with the low battery. Here it is. There it is constant flashing so again with this is the same as the k6 this one i can still control it but really slow so it is moving which is a little bit better than the k6 let's see how good now the functionality of the obstacle avoidance is let's see oh oh you're seeing it it's trying to go to it because it's drifting by itself that's how these toy grade drones are but it's not uh, allowing it it, it does work but unfortunately you can't really go forward or, or, or like you can't go forward, back, left, right, fast. As you can see, it's going real slow when I'm doing it and it shouldn't. Third rate, very slow, it's moving. You can barely move with it. It takes time for it to move. But look how, the, look how it works, doing full forward and it's stopping it and it's still stopping it that is amazing wow okay let's try the side yeah that didn't work and surprisingly it has right there as you can see it does have side obstacle avoidance why it did not function or work beats the hell out of me we'll test it again let's take it up in the air have to turn on back the 
obstacle avoidance with the touch of the button. Okay, you know it's on automatically because how it goes so slow. But now it's moving, okay. Let's see if it crashes. Yeah, it's not working. Oh wait, 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 wait. I, I first went close to it. I saw that it didn't do anything, so I moved back not to screw it up. But then after I saw it was doing something, so let's try that again. See if it does something. No. It does after. After I already move it away. Let's try again. Battery died. Freaking battery died. So my friends, we're back. We got a full battery charged. Let's dive into it and keep doing some tests on this P8 Drones Obstacle Avoidance. Automatic bounded, excellent. Take it up in the air, excellent. Okay, we're gonna put it into Obstacle Avoidance. Lights flashing, as you can see in a pulse style means it is in the obstacle avoidance. Let's check with the side like we did before. And it works. You saw that? It was working. Let's try a little lower. Okay, let's go back. Back. Let's test it out. Yeah, working beautiful. Beautiful. Let's try the left side. So we're gonna try it on a window to see if that plays any, any screw up. No, before the window, let's try on the cement and then we'll see if the window has any different effect to it. So on the cement. And there you go, it just crashed. Turn on the obstacle avoidance. There it is. Okay, it's flashing. Let's take it to the Wow. Yeah, I moved it. I moved it so it wouldn't crash. So it's not the most. Oh, that was close. It's not the most perfect and like 100% working functionality or feature, but it does work. But should you really rely on it? I really don't think so. Let's take it towards the window and see what happens. As you can see, it just went straight for the window and just got caught from the propellers and crashed. And that could mean because of the window, maybe it's playing some sort of a game or you know, distortion between the lighting of the infrared, how I said it is infrared, so it's not the most uh, reliable type of source for uh, obstacle avoidance. So keep that in mind. Let's take it up in the air again. Let's try the back, the back, because if I'm not mistaken, there it is, you can see there's a back right there, I hope it's in the shot. So it does have a back obstacle avoidance as well. So 360, not the perfectest way of function, but it does have it. So I will show you that it is in that. There it is. It's an obstacle avoidance. As you can see, now it's facing me, so that is the back. And we're gonna take it there, it'll take a while. As for some reason, this is how it works when it's in uh, obstacle avoidance. And there it is, it worked. I'll take it forward, whoa! That just went crazy. I'll take it for backwards, back, back, as you can see on the controller. Boom, and it works. So it's not so bad, it is doing the job a lot better than the K6 Max drone. Let's try again, turning it this way and going again to like I'm going to a wall. Instead of the window, I'm going to the wall. 
Now it's working. So it does work, it's just not 100% reliable. But you see, it does work. So that's pretty much it. Let's just land it. So my thoughts on the PA drone, my friends, is that it does work pretty good. A lot better than the K6 drone. K6 Max drone, I should say. After doing a lot of tests with the major parts that are really necessary to do the tests, we come out with the conclusion that it does work. It does the job properly. But the downside on this that I've noticed already with two of the drones, the K6 Max drone and the PA drone, when you go into this obstacle avoidance feature, for some reason, it leaves the controller almost obsolete. You can barely move it. Luckily, this it was still moving forward, back, left, right. Very, very slow, like less than even if it would be on the first rate. But it was still moving. When we took the K6 Max drone, if you have seen that video, if you haven't, you can check it out in my video section. Of my channel you'll see it right there but anyways when we tested out with that it was not moving at all so this is already a bump up don't forget to subscribe to the channel my friends to see the next video that will come out when it comes out probably next week of the other drone that we're gonna take for a test of the obstacle avoidance so far this one was pretty good it, it's not a hundred percent but again it is obstacle avoidance function working with infrared this is also a 20 30 maybe 40 dollar drone in that type price range so it is doing its job not a hundred percent but it's doing its job better than the k6 max drone so that's pretty much it for this video i hope it helped you out i hope it gave you some insight and understanding of how the obstacle avoidance works for the p8 drone till next time remember to be safe take care have fun and peace out people fam